Hello ladies and gentle nerds, my name is Deloop and welcome back to Factorio Megabase Season 2. This is episode 36 and today we're going to be uh, kind of refining the um, the depot here. Because uh, there are some things that I, I kind of thought of in between episodes that need to be added in and changed. Uh, one of them being that, first of all, why aren't you getting any big power poles? Well, uh, we've got a lot in here. So that'll be good. Um, one of the things is I want to keep a ra uh, radar in these. Oops. So clear this. And uh, now this is kind of tricky because they, they try and fill each other. They try and fill it up. So the best way is just cut power to the, the wagon. And then uh, clear the inserters. Um, I want to keep a ra some radars. So we can just copy this over. And... Uh, change one of these rail here to keep radar in. There we go. Do that. And then I can go ahead and clear this. Uh, power it back up and we're good to go. So I just want to keep radars in this and it, that is because I like to uh, run radars along my main line. Um, when I expand the rail, like as you can see, I have radars all here. It lets me see where all my trains are at. So we'll add radars there. That's good. Uh, the next thing is uh, we need we need some uh, loading of fuel into the trains. So we'll just say that this will stock coal, 100 coal. And 100 wood, that makes sure that if I'm out of coal, I have backup wood. And if I'm out of wood, I have backup coal, whatever. We can go ahead and copy that. And I'll just stick it over here as well. Paste it in. Stick it on this one. Paste it in. Why didn't that work? Paste it in. Good. And, uh get this one as well up here good perfect uh, so we'll go ahead and throw those in that's good everything is great alright so these are operational now the only thing is uh, some of the missing items that we don't have automated yet that being laser turrets um, and radar as well as a uh, a few other things like uh, the red wire. I'm not going to worry about the red wire just yet, but uh, the radar and the laser turrets are I'm going to worry about. Now I'm going to go expand out to the stone outpost this episode, but we do I do want to set up some automation for the radar and stuff, and the laser turrets. Now laser turrets are kind of expensive. Um, they take well, first off, they take a lot of electricity. Um, where are they? Do I even have I even researched laser turrets yet? No. <laughs> so we're not going to be automating those this episode. Uh, but I do want to automate the radars. So we'll go ahead and get our blueprint here. I'll uh, go ahead and stamp this down here. We'll need a roboport for this. We'll just place it there. Get a power pole in here. Good. Uh. You have no passive provider chest, that's fine. Go ahead and make one. Good. Um, so, radar. Bam, bam. Set that. Then uh, we're going to keep maybe 100 of these guys. We really don't know. We'll say 50. We really don't need that many. So 50 ought to be good. Those will bring in all the resources. It's good to go. Now, uh, let me check if to make sure this is an active provider, and I'm going to lift the limit on this, too. Because we got a lot of things that are using a lot of gears. So I'm just going to say, when everything is idle, go ahead and just fill the chest full of gears. I really don't care. Okay? Good. Perfect. So, uh, that's good. Those will fill the trains with radar. So, uh, why don't we go test out our new train and, uh, make an expansion? It's a long way from home, but, uh... Oh, ought to be good. Oh, look. <laughs> you out of fuel, buddy? Why are you out of fuel? You should be refueling yourself over here. Ah. Apparently, I didn't set up the request on this right. 
Doesn't have any coal. Neither do you. Why isn't there coal in my logistics network? We should uh, probably remedy that. Uh, that should be pretty easy, though. If I just come up here. Uh, I'm just going to take a cut off here. We'll go three chests, maybe. Need that last one. There we go. Keep a thousand coal in the logistics network at any one time. Good. Give it some power. Okay. Make sure there's Roboport coverage over here. Barely in Roboport range. I'll go ahead and add just a Roboport in here just because I can. Okay, so those will go off to refuel the trains. Uh, I, sh I have eight coal on me, but I should probably grab enough to, to fuel that train a little bit. Um, get it going again. And make sure that the front car's got fuel as well. It's got one wood. <laughs> Throw in some coal. Okay, off you go. Alright, so uh, let's go test out our new train. This will be fun. I've decided how I want to do this. I want to take a, a, the branch off here. I'm going to do a T-junction here and just bring it straight up and then do a diagonal. And then uh, just curve the diagonal straight right up here and just bring it in. And then I can just do another T-junction and bring it in, whatever. doesn't really matter. T-junction, then another T-junction. I don't know. Uh, I could also bring it off of this end. Um, that that's another option. I could just put a T-junction here, bring it straight up and across. That might be better. Because if I do that, we'll figure it out. Actually, no. I'm going to bring it up here. Because uh, I'm thinking the stone unloading. I haven't decided where I want to put it. Get rid of that hazy overview. But I was thinking I would put it in here somewhere. Maybe like right here route everything in. I'd have to route it just up along this and through or up and around. I don't know. Put the unloading somewhere in here so I'll branch off of this. Alright, let's get going. Just manually drive out there. Wow, rocket silo finished. Sweet. Laser turrets. I didn't even realize I hadn't researched that yet. Oh, I missed the turn. I'm always missing the turn in this intersection. It's actually really hard to just drive through manually. There we go. Like, ridiculously hard. <laughs> that little T-junction. Laser turrets is already finished. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to take a branch off here. All right, what next? What next? Personal laser defense? That's not really like uh, something that I use. So you get character logistics slots. Let's clear out some of these trees so I can build the inner. So <laughs> let's uh not run directly into a train. I, I went to run away from it and ran in the middle of the path, and I'm like, no, keep going, don't stop. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's the cool thing about this this wagon too is trash, trash. All right, what do I need? I need. I've already got straight rail. I need a stack curve rail maybe, some uh, signals. And I've already got the blueprint ready to go. Oh, and some radars. Now I've got two in here, and I've probably got a couple in here too. Good. And this blueprint. Figure out where I want to plant it down. Oh, wrong one. This one. Thinking maybe like right right there. Good to go. Let my personal robots build it. Perfect. Power it up. And there we have it. So we'll just bring in out a like that. Mm. 
get my signals in. Good to go. Get this going on the right track. Now we can just run our, our train line. Sorry, copper train. Let me get out of your way. Okay. So I need to take this up not too far. Actually, you know what I need to do is uh, curve it. It needs to be curved. So I was going to take it diagonally. So let me uh, rip out some more of these trees. We'll just do this. Oops. Get rid of that. One, two, three, four. Oops. Got a lot. <laughs> a lot of rail in there. All right. So this would just go up. Which means now I need to... Uh, Go ahead and uh, put a power pole in with the initial rail signals again. That's fine. Okay. So uh, now all we need to do is just bring this out. Uh, make sure it's placing poles, placing signals. Maintenance mode is off. Just see signals 30. Should be good to go. Start. Drive. Let's bring this straight out. Beauty of the faro makes things a lot easier. Oop, too far, too far, too far, much too far. Cause uh, I need this kind of be right, right here. Now <laughs> I went a l way too far, so uh, it needs to just be maybe uh, <clears throat> these two signals here. So not the signals that are really close to the power pole, but the ones that are kind of in between two power poles. I'm bringing this back. So not these ones, but these signals. This is where I need to curve it. Go ahead and do that. It's just a simple matter of ripping all the old rail out. Place too much of it. Ink spots. These uh these this personal roboport just makes things so much easier to work. Thanks, autosave. You're a pal. Come on, you're telling me. Ah, whatever. Okay, good to go. Just need to take this all as far as we can get. Take it. Start. And we just drive it. Drive it where we need to go. All the way to the stone depot. It's all where we need to go. Please don't run into the water. Oh no, I'm going to miss it by a long shot. Plenty of space. I'm not sure how far I want to take this. Um... I don't want to get too close to that copper, so maybe here. Then uh, I just need the end of the line here. Good. Get the uh, signals here. a train stop this is going to be the uh, whip uh, northeast <coughs> there we go power pole apparently that was the last one I had on me okay radar good that'll get me some scouting uh, go ahead and grab another stack of power poles. Okay, we just need the uh, the T junction now, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna put it right here, just because I can. Uh, just stick it right here, and 
bring it down and then I can just curve the track in. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Look how much faster building rail is when you uh, have more than e any, like more than enough resources to do it instead of that that uh, farl that I had going on where I just threw basic stuff into it. Okay, that's good. Now let's uh, let's just get this on the r the right track here. Back it up. Bup, bup, back it up, back it up. Hopefully we can get the rest of this track laid by the end of the episode. Okay. So now I just need to bring it all the way down to where the water is and just turn right. And the farl will turn right. I mean, it, it'll turn for you. It's kind of wonky how it works, but it, it does work. Now I need to go left. Turn. Out of rails. <laughs> well, that's a shame because I, I kind of fucked up this whole thing, anyways. <laughs> I hit water, like so it couldn't place some of the rail. All right. Now this is the beauty of the farl too. Watch, watch this. This is cool. Okay. So I can place this down. That signal's fine. Send it off to the farl depot. It'll go refuel itself refill itself while I'm I'm off building this cuz uh, I I now need to rip all this out It'll take a while to get out there but uh while I'm doing this it'll it'll restock on its supplies and it probably can't get much rail out of my system right now to be honest but it it's got a little bit in there That's kind of why I need the stone outpost a asap Actually you know what I could do let me make a train stop. <clears throat> Let's call up the uh, out the engineering train. Now we uh, because I have radars, I can just see it it depart. I can see that the uh, the farl no that's that's not the farl that's probably the copper iron train. It's over here. They're gonna pass each other. So this one's gonna. Uh, go into the farl depot the engineering trains on its way to me I'll use the engineering train to build the last bit of the track as well as the outpost which will work really nicely uh, now I just need to curve the track um, make sure not to rip out that station so it needs to be here one two three just need to hook it in there oh come on Come on. Is that right? Yes. All right, character logistics slots for research. Let's get a tank. I'm, I might build one of those just as a pr uh, just to show you guys like the, the the power of them. Which, to be honest, the power of the tanks is not not that great. They they don't work f too too well. I really don't. I don't. I don't see any point in actually going after making one for any reason. All right, just in time, our engineering train has arrived. Go ahead and remove the station. Stop the train. Uh, we'll have it read our blueprints because this one doesn't know them. Okay. Start. Tank finished. All right. Well, uh, get rocket damage one. Why not? Why not? I say. Now this one's a lot slower, but it carries a lot more stuff. The other train carries more rail in general. This one just carries a bunch of other random crap with it. All right. So what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking that. What what I'll do is this line will curve up and then this line will go this way. So I can ex let me extend this line a little bit more, just because I can. Take it to about there. 
Okay. Rip out these trees. We'll go ahead and put the end of the line station here. This is going to be whip. Um, oh shit. What do I want to call this? Because I've already got uh, Work in Progress West here. This is going to be Work in Progress West 2, maybe? Yeah, why not? West 2. Whip. West. 2. Good. Uh, chain signals. Going in. Signal coming out. Good to go. Now this can turn around just fine. I'm not going to have it turn around just yet, though, because I want to put in my... Uh, intersection here. I'm going to put it up here and then it'll just curve in to where it needs to go. I'm going to remove all these trees. Get them out of my way. Take... Oops. Inventory full. Okay. So I'm thinking... Uh, let me go ahead and empty out my inventory of all this wood. Uh... Laser turret shooting speed. Let's start getting these upgrades. Okay. So what I'll do is come into the middle here. Clear out my inventory of all this garbage. Because I need to clear out some more of these trees. That are also in my way. Go bots, go! Tear down the forest. I've become efficient at everything! Then <laughs> we just need to decide where I'm gonna put the uh, the actual station. Forgot a uh, power pull for this radar. Yeah, I get it. My inventory's full. Shut up. Okay, so uh, I'm thinking the station. Just as, as soon as I can actually curve the track, I might as well just do it. Just do it. I've, that awesome video that I've never seen. I, I'm not. I'm not even kidding. I still haven't seen that video. People have been pressuring me to watch it. They're like, "You need to watch it. It's it's funny." And I'm like, mm, "No, I probably don't. I, I probably really don't need to watch it." That looks wonky, but it'll work. So uh, all we need is the signal coming out, the uh, chain signal coming in. Put it there. Good to go. This is going to be our stone unload. So uh, let's go ahead and set down a station. Call it new. Wait. This is typically how I build them. I use the farl to actually make the station, and then I, I name it new, and then that'll dispatch the engineering train to me. Okay, you got no path, obviously. Fine, I'll pull it in myself. Laser shooting speed 2. Go ahead. Oh, this episode's getting really long. <laughs> pull the station, this end of the station, and uh, we'll end up the episode, and then we'll, uh, we'll build the outpost. Okay. All right, thank you guys for watching. It's time to end up the episode. I really appreciate all the awesome feedback. Um, one of the things that I do need to add in here is a pack station. I don't think I left my no myself enough room. No, I did because uh, we got to remember this is uh, shorter. But we're going to do all that stuff next episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Diloop, and I'll see you next time.